hello guys and girls welcome back if i keep jump cutting it's because the washing machine's on and like every like minute or so it's going really loud so i keep having to like pause what i'm saying and then wait until it calms down a bit oh what happened there so i i'm not so today i want to have a talk about something that is going on like really current it's going on right now so grab yourself a cup of tea grab yourself a coffee a alcohol beverage because it's just been results day and we're going to talk about everything to do with that as well as a level results results day and any kinds of worries you have about not getting into the university you want not getting into a russell group university and this isn't just applicable to law it's applicable to any subject today because i just want to speak about it also this is giving you a kind of sneak preview into my new flat i was filming a moving vlog yesterday and today but because all this happens, I thought I really want to get this up there. So that will be the next video on my channel. So you might have two this week. Lucky. But anyway, let's just get into it. So in terms of A-level results, obviously because of the coronavirus, A-level students haven't had their exams. What they've had instead is an algorithm, shall we call it now? There's a million problems with this algorithm that, you know, are problematic and we need to talk about them. For one, I have seen on Twitter, which is clearly a reliable news platform, but okay. I have seen on Twitter that people are getting A stars, A, A, and then Mohagam's got like D, D, D in their actual exams. A lot of A-level students have been like really upset about it. A lot of you know gone through this appeals process so at the moment we don't know how that is going to go for people whether the appeals process is going to be you know really strict or not or whether they will get their desired grades but i've seen a lot of people who you know had three firm choices i don't know how many firm choices yet actually they had firm choices as being these Russell Group universities who will not accept them with grades like BCC. So a lot have gone through the really like traumatic clearing process. And I know it's traumatic because I've seen some of our friends go through it. And it's very much just ringing around universities and begging them to let you go and study there. Even ringing universities like Russell Group universities and them just being like, sorry, no chance. You haven't got the desired results. So for A-level students, like I can't imagine the stress you're going through. So I'm trying to just be like a big sister here who understands this from an outside perspective because I haven't actually gone through it myself but also has gone through a very similar experience where I haven't had results at all but not through no fault of my own, through my own fault so it's kind of easier for me because I knew I messed up but I am just here to give some words of wisdom and a bit of advice surrounding the topic. So, first things first, I'm going to explain like my story as to what I did. So, during school, I was like really, really a model student, shall we say, through the years like 7, 8, 9, 10. I performed amazingly well on my GCSEs. I got 11 GCSEs all A star to B. Then when I got to AS level, I started working part time. I didn't really want to do school anymore. Like I was kind of over it. Like I had major anxiety. A lot of my friends left in sixth form and I didn't really have anyone. So my sort of coping mechanism was to just not go. At this point, I was 18, my mum and dad couldn't do anything really, I just didn't want to go and I just wanted to work instead, which resulted in me moving out of the house at 18, but also resulted in me leaving school because I was then supporting myself and living by myself, well, with friends, but 
so at this point like i knew i always knew that i wanted to do law like this was something i really wanted to achieve and i started looking at access courses in college which not only do you have to get a loan for but are uh, full-time and when you're supporting yourself you can't do a full-time college course and a full-time job of a night time like it would have killed me so i moved back home to my mum and she kind of supported me allowed me to live there while i was looking at access courses and things i wanted to do to go on to study law then i stumbled across the fast track at edgehill university course which is an access course that you don't need to apply for a learning loan for and is only six weeks long and then allows you to go on study a degree without a foundation yet same as anyone else six weeks like this was perfect for me so i then went on to do this and now i study at edgehill university which is not uh, Russell Group University a lot of A-level students were upset because they wanted to study at Russell Group Universities and that's what they didn't get their desired results for. Now the thing about Russell Group Universities is these are desired universities for a reason. I'm not going to say that they're better or worse than other unis, polytechnic unis I think they're called. But I'm not going to say that they're better or worse because I firmly don't hold that belief. I just believe they're different. But with a Russell Group University, kind of comes more opportunity. So I know for one, only about three, four law firms a year visit my university. Whereas Russell Group Universities have law firms directly showing an interest in their students by doing events open days you know they advertise themselves to the students a lot more where we have to kind of seek out law firms that we want to work at who wouldn't necessarily be interested in a university where there's only 70 law students in the first year and there's a lot of reasons for that the grades for a university like mine a uh, bbb to bbc whereas for russell group universities they can be aab aaa things like that so i understand why but in my opinion a levels don't really mean anything i know that i did really well in my exams i did really well in my seminars i know that i do a lot of extracurriculars and i feel like i do have the making to become a good advocate or solicitor whereas the law firms won't necessarily see that because of the university that I go to which is shit basically it's not fair and it's not right but what we do is instead of focusing on grades and things like that we build up skills instead that would make us better so i know for one i beat a third year from cambridge university in a moon competition because i focus a lot on extracurriculars as well as grades and she had never done moon before dwf a huge law firm they're dropping their a-level requirements so i thought this could be a blessing in disguise we might no longer be judged on our exam grades which isn't that a good thing do you really want a government marked exam defining your life this might just be one of them things that is a stepping stone in us being judged on our personalities and our abilities rather than a grade we got when we were 17, 18 and for me that's a good thing and I know it may not seem like it right now and it may seem like the end of the world so go and have a cry about it and then go and get drunk with your friends but in a few years you might look back and think wow isn't it amazing how the year that I did my A-levels changed all these companies' perspectives on what they meant? So, please don't beat yourself up about 
a level results and don't be obsessed about it at the end of the day you didn't even sit the exam like how dare they assume what you were gonna do you could have pulled that out the bag like you could have got three stars like but don't beat yourself up and don't think about it too much at the end of the day it's a stupid algorithm the government have got yet another thing wrong amongst the coronavirus pandemic but whatever uni you go to just make the most of your experience forget about it now forget about the russell groups forget about the top universities it doesn't matter anymore just go to university get a ton of life experience and just be happy and enjoy yourself that's the main thing enjoy your degree and if you do appeal your results and you do get the grade you wanted or you did get the grade you wanted in the first place congratulations hopefully this gave you some advice so i shall be off now but lots of love and i hope this made you feel a little bit better if it didn't then i'm really sorry i am useless